Hello, Storm Eleanor has been named the fifth name storm of the season, crossing the country Tuesday night and into Wednesday, bringing a spell of strong winds and, for some, large waves. From these winds and the waves, disruption in some places is likely, and that's why there is a yellow warning in force within this general area. Well, there's the risk of disruption to power supplies, to transport, and for western coasts in particular, disruption from large waves and spray. But not everyone will be affected in equal measure. This is Storm Eleanor. She moves in at the end of Tuesday. Now, it's across the Republic of Ireland where some significant impacts are expected. Met Erin named the storm on Monday night because of this. But Eleanor will also bring impacts to the UK. Tuesday evening, the strongest winds will be wrapped around Eleanor's low pressure as she moves across Northern Ireland into Northern England and Southern Scotland. 60 mile per hour gusts inland, 80 mile per hour gusts near the coast. And these westerly winds combined with high tides could bring some large waves crashing into coastal areas, in particular the Cumbria coast. In addition, we've got this spell of very wet weather moving in and some hill snow. If we rewind the clock to Tuesday evening, you can see a similar intense spell of rainfall moving through England and Wales. It can be very noisy out there as that rainfall moves through accompanied by some very gusty winds, 60 mile per hour gusts inland, 80 near the coast. By the start of Wednesday, Eleanor's into the North Sea, but isobars remain tight. It's another very windy day for all of us away from the north of Scotland. Those winds bringing in frequent heavy showers, hail and thunder as well, and continuing to pile up the waves, particularly by Wednesday, North Devon and North Cornwall could cause impacts from to coastal communities here, and the wind continuing to cause some impacts to transport and to power supplies. Because of this, a yellow warning, of course, is in force, but not everyone will be affected in the same way. It's within this general zone that there's the risk of biggest impacts rather than the guarantee. And the warning area may change. Warnings are updated all the time. You can find all the details on the Met Office website and through our app. And you can, of course, keep up to date with us via social media. Take care.